Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who has risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring us back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today we're taking a look at some of the things that are happening all around the world and how it's showing that we're in the time of the beast of the Bible, in a time of fear coming across the world as a spiritual attack is going on against Jesus and the seed of Christ all across the world. On our channel we show how all the world is going along as a matrix and that we're nearing that time the day of the Lord. Today we're going to take a look and show how the dark beast is bringing fear upon the world. Part of this beast out of the sea and this beast out of the earth. Just as with the fires that just burned paradise, it's an attack on many things. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. These things will be shown all around us even so much as into the movies coming out. Here is a dark, the dark wizard coming, bringing fire down. See him with his magic wand? And the Bible has talked of him and these ten kings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is the beast and the ten kings. Wizards. It's talked of in the Bible for these things. In Revelation 22, 15. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth that maketh a lie. Sorcerers. Right there. It's also shown even on Egyptian glyphs. You have to remember from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt, and Moses came out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. Nearly all of these map out the end times. This right here is considered to be the dog star. The, Beth, the star of Bethlehem and the part of the throne of God even. And you can see right here in the left hand side this sorcerer representing those cast out the Satan character and in the right hand side sits Jesus the power of God with this eagle ready for escape as all of these beasts come down that's right there. on the Bible it's called the burdens of Egypt well, we show how these things are mapped out all around us. You can see that clown guy right there. See the V? There he is, coming down. This bear represents what is called the part of the beast. The beast out of the sea with seven heads and ten horns and has the feet of a bear. We're actually going to go map this out at the Nogales border and showed that these migrants coming represents a fear, just more fear that this dark beast exudes. See? Bringing fear. But it's going to map out the same things we're showing here. Jesus trying to stop them and blocking their way. Here is that beast and even with the five representing the beast from the pit, that represents a pit down in there. And over here is Jesus, guarding the Golden Gate. See the Golden Gate? Jesus facing the beast and the Ten Kings, and this fear. There's Jesus right there. Guarding the gate. The whole world is like this. It's not a small thing. It, 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 the earth is not made by mistake. It's completely created. Even all of the different religions, I've shown this before, but it comes back to all of these ten different kings. There can be Islam, Buddhism, you know, China's no religion, you know, different things of that, different Mary worship, you know, all of these different things. Because it's talked of for that to happen in the Bible. It's mentioned right here. You have the woman on the beast, the same as your Mary worship. You have the beast from the bottomless pit. And then you have the 
ten kings that receive a kingdom for one hour with the beast. These shall make war with the Lamb. They are sorcerers, fallen angels, sorcerers. The same as the fallen angels that saw the daughters of man and came down and lusted after the women, the whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and sorcerers. So you can see that that's right there, right in front of us. That's Jesus' fight. There's Jesus holding the gate. See the golden gate, which has a lot to do with the USA and our freedom here. That's the symbolism of this and through the whole world. The whole world is done this way. So let's head down towards Nogales in Texas, one of the borders that they were thinking that the migrants might come through. Most of the migrants are ending up in Tijuana, and they're, they're starting to thin out, but it, it's mostly about fear. But we've already had paradise burned down. They're calling this the day that paradise burned down. See paradise burned down? And now we have all these other dark fear things coming. So let's go down to Nogales in Texas and show these same things. The same picture is right here. We're going to see the beast and Jesus trying to stop them right at the border. God have mercy on us all. You can see over here, this represents getting on the boat and getting into grace and mercy. You can see this woman right here collecting the souls going through the gate. So you have you have eternal life with Jesus Christ. See how he's trying to keep them locked out. The sorcerers, the whoremongers, the idolaters. This means a lot of people. It doesn't mean just these migrants coming up because this thing is bringing fear. There he is, attacking. So let's head down to Nogales. the southern border near in Texas. This is No Gals, Arizona, right at one of the big border crossings, right here, right near the port of entry. You can actually map out Jesus here in Revelation 19, getting ready to defeat them. The marriage of the Lamb, the rider on the white horse, the defeat of the beast and the false prophet, which had done miracles and brought fire down from heaven to try to go after paradise. These things are shown to us over and over again around the world. This spiritual battle is happening. See Revelation 19. There's the border. And you can make out Jesus right here. This is not easy. And it, it's talked of in the Bible that people like myself and billions of others will wake up to show signs in the heavens and on the earth. This is Jesus right here. His hand. by the lines. There's Jesus. And he's facing down the dark beast. As we've shown, he looks like this guy. It's like a Batman. It looks like he's wearing a witch's hat. See the pointy hat? And you can see it and it says that the serpent will be coming with lies and tricks. Do you see the serpent? There's the serpent going after Jesus. The Holy Cross. Right there's the Holy Cross Hospital. The port of entry. Revelation 19. The 15. See the 15 as we've shown about the date the 15th. Just like yesterday when a lot of things were happening. And now you can see this guy. See the line?
the beast out of the sea and a shark, the beast out of the earth. See how it looks like a shark fin? There he is. And a serpent. And it says it will cast water out of his mouth as a flood, representing fear. Stuff's real, guys. It's here. It's, it's wow. So there's Jesus, Revelation 19, facing down the beast and the false prophet, a wizard, as we shown. I had mapped out this area a couple of years ago because there was a murder over here of a police officer, and I showed that the beast was here then. I actually mapped a lot of this out then. Satan. See, Satan. He's right here. And it shows him with a magic wand. A spirit. A djinn. For those that know their, their stuff about angels and things, this guy is like a djinn. See him right here? I-19, 911 backwards. Abaddon. Apollyon. There he is. And he has a big magic wand. The Dark Lord. If I map this out over here, there's a guy being tortured. He brings pain and fear. There he is. We're by the lines. Well, I've verified these things. We all have. There he is. All at the same time as we've shown before, even with these movies coming out. See how everything's being controlled even? There he is. Oop, that's my wife and I. This is, this is me and this is my wife. Who's that guy? And there's Jesus fighting them. There is another image of this perfect over in Britain and it connects this to the princes even to Prince William being involved and it shows another image that looks like a Donald Trump as part of these ten kings and it looks like Obama was also part of this and George Bush and Vladimir Putin and the Pope and the Queen of England and all the way over to Saudi Arabia that they're all part of these ten kings and the seven heads of the beast so let's head over towards Britain and show this same image. There's Jesus, and I'm going to show you the same thing, and it's linked even to Prince William and the Beast. And as we've shown, that's why Donald Trump says, Make America Great Again, Great Britain. This is over in Britain, near Watchfield and South Wick. In the Bible, it's the end of the time of the wicked. The wicked tenants, the wicked ten. And right down here, you can see the name Mark, which represents the second coming of Jesus Christ and the Ark. And now you can see the beast going after that, representing Jesus and the white horse. Remember Jesus on the white horse, the Ark and the white horse, facing the dragon. Wicked. Now you can see the elephant again, which has a lot to do with Donald Trump. He's on the side of the wicked. He's part of the Ten Kings. It's a great deception. And then you can see the bear. The feet of the bear. The seven heads and the ten kings, all facing off against Jesus and the white horse. And they are known as, see, Wick, they are known as the wicked tenants, the wicked ten, and they're going against the white horse. And now you can see that same picture of that guy that looks like the beast, the Batman looking guy. Right there, bringing fear, wicked, the same thing shown at the border. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah.
foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. The orders are on their way. By which time I shall be gone. And you... shall be dead. Lost old man. Harry. So weak. So fun. You're the weak one, and you'll never know love or friendship. And I feel sorry for you. Everything. 